and then use the best options available to you. Once you've sort of decided on what you're going to do in a workflow, document it. So define your goals um, for the methods that you're using, write protocols for your chosen methods, and then share those with others, test your methods, rewrite as needed, and then once you have your final workflows for today, because five years from now you'll probably change them, um, distribute them to all staff, including those that don't digitize, because you might have a collections manager in another department who's wondering what you're doing, why is there a camera here now, there wasn't a camera here before, it's getting in my way. Make sure everyone around knows so that um, they'll say, okay, well, I shouldn't go down this hallway anymore because the digitization staff is going to be coming in and out with a whole bunch of um, specimens. And lastly, again, I, keep, I can't reiterate this enough. Assume you're going to change your procedures in the future as technology changes. If you wait for perfection, you will never get started. Um, again, this is going back into the mindset where, I, where even we were thinking, well, we digitize all our types, you know. It took us a long time to accept that, well, depending on a situation, depending on the changing um, what's available in cameras and technology, you know, now, we're going to adapt to it. And so we've just accepted that we will always have to update and change things as we go. So part of what we can do today um, is help you develop your own workflows for your institution. So you'll have this folder going through all the task lists um, for the workflows modules. And there'll be three different types, again, the the flat objects, the things pinned insects, and things in jars. You can review all the modules for your collection. Determine which, so they'll have a ton of recommendations, but maybe only five of them apply to you. Or you can only do these three. But at least you've gone over them all and you can then adapt them to what your needs are. So if you want to write out a workflow, um, and then decide if you can develop a workflow for part of your collection or if you're really you know, ready to do all of your collection, define that up front. And if you're already digitizing, you probably have some sort of database or some sort of procedures for digitization in place already. Um, are there places where you can improve or add new steps or things that you may not have thought of doing before? Um, take your current workflow and then see if you want to uh, re um, re-update it or update it in any way. And once you've designed your sort of ideal workflow, then decide, you know, what, what are your limiting factors and maybe you'd have to remove certain parts um, or see if you can find funding to um, add certain parts. So do you need a camera? Can you database but not image because you don't have a camera? Do, are you missing, do you have any staff? Uh, have you thought about getting, you know, volunteers or interns? Um, maybe with only a few staff you can only do a very small part of your collection, but at least you could do that part. Um, do you not have a database? Do you, is your data only existing in a spreadsheet format? Maybe that's all you have and maybe that's the best way for you to get started now, but you could then look into the future about maybe adopting something else as you can. Now even though we can start today with workflows, keep in mind you're missing some items. Uh, we'll be doing other collection types today. But imaging will be tomorrow, georeferencing will be, oh no, this is actually the day after, and then data cleaning will be on Monday. So all these things you may need to sort of have the lectures in order to develop the workflows. But you could get started today going over all the documents, deciding what fits for you, and then getting more information the next few days. By Monday, we can actually start reviewing them. You can talk to any one of us who may be more um, helpful in your collection type, and then we can answer any of your questions. Now examples of these workflows for how you might want to write them up would be, um, this is an example of the, from the pin things module one. <coughs> Basically what these documents look like is it gives you a series of tasks, uh, name of the task, um, an explanation of it and what resources you may need. So if you read through all of them, some of them again may not apply to you, some of them may be very useful. Go through each a task and then pull out the ones that you think will be useful for you. Now you could write these up as just a general workflow. I dig Bio has these published on their website. Going from what are we doing in terms of pre-digitization, we're going we're gonna to create a workflow where we do data capture, just do a few exemplar Im images, process those images and store them somehow. 
um, or uh, we'll do workflow B or C. So what you could do is just either on paper, draw it out. Um, you could try to you know, do some work digitally. Anything you want that would relate to your institution. You've seen some of our workflows that get kind of complicated. You might, that's why I kind of recommend maybe you start by drawing things out. But eventually you can get to a very specific um, workflow for your institution. And so this one is an institution specific workflow for both databasing and imaging. And you could also have a task specific workflow. So maybe you've got databasing down, but now you need to sort of focus on creating a workflow for imaging. So this one is Kim, she'll probably um, go over it later, uh, tomorrow maybe, but this is one is a task going through every single step we need to get through to get our images um, backed up, archived, and into the database and online. So any one of these, a general overview for the entire institution or a very task-specific workflow, we can work on with you. Uh, that's pretty much the generic workflow overview. If you have any questions on that right now, we can get started. Or we can just move into sort of the examples. <coughs>